Welcome from the home of the New York Mets, City Field in Queens. The show has an NL East matchup. The Atlanta Braves going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And on the mound in this one, Kodai Senga. Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trusted, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trusted his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. And a pitch. That misses the zone. And we're underway here this afternoon. And a pitch. This to center field. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Austin Riley stands in now and watches strike one. He's a good high school football player, Austin O'Reilly. But you look at the build, you think quarterback, think maybe even linebacker. No, he's a punter. One down, base is empty. Ball one, one there. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Around second is Riley. Throw cut off to third. In there safely. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. I love the hustle out of the box, man. He drove that baseball and he was thinking triple right away. Here is Matt Olson. First offering misses the mark. Run around at third, one gone. Next pitch is outside. And that's in for a strike. Oh. Next pitch misses. Ball three. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle-of-the-order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Left-hand batter waits. Starting to go after it. Now we'll look down to third. And he went around. Rule to swing. Kicks and deals. And down on strikes he goes. Two away down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat that speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And now here is Michael Harris. Oh, and the first pitch misses for ball one. Oh. 
left hand hitter waits. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. Line drive, base hit. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So two down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Sean Murphy. It's a pitch out. Nothing doing. And that's ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. The 1 0. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. Well, it really doesn't matter what the situation is. When a guy like this gets on first, you know he's going to steal second at some point during the at bat. Nice job to get into scoring position. The defense probably knew it was coming, but they just couldn't do anything to stop it. The 1 1. Just off the outside part of the plate. Runner at second, two down. That one fouled off, two and two. Good eye right there. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Ozzy Albies up next. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Nasty fork ball for strike three. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a one nothing ball game. Back after this on the show. Back here in Queens. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Spencer Strider. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets, and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Yeah, the count one and two. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Next offering way <laughs> off the plate. That one Wait. missed. The pitch. Got him. And there's one down. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes second. off speed. Not gets the out. Francisco. Now up to hit. Francisco Lindor. That one inside, ball one. Strider, he has a reputation, I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one.
the why to kick the pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. And a pitch. Outside. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash. And because of that, confidence grows with the players and oh. teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know. Here's a Mets lineup now. This is one of the best teams in the league when it comes to drawing walks, Chris. So we'll probably see a very patient approach from them. Yeah, Boogie, that's often uh, what leads to a lot of runs scored. You get guys on base, you work that pitch count up for the opposing pitchers, and then you take advantage when they make mistakes, you get into that bullpen. You can tell that everyone up and down this lineup just well, comes in helped. with a great plan of attack, a lot of patience, just like you said. And that one fouled off. The 1-1. One, one. And that's outside. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Mets. And it remains 1-0. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now in for the Braves, Ozzy Albies. The pitch. That one to first. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Batting seven. The left fielder, number 20, Marcel Ozuna. Here's Marcel Ozuna. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Corner for a strike. One one. Ball and one. ball one. Ricky Holiday, our umpire behind the dish. Known as pretty fair umpire for both hitters and pitchers. Yeah, I think that's right, Boop. There is a little inconsistency on the corners of the plate. You can't always be sure how it's going to go with those borderline pitches as the game progresses. And here it comes. And there's a foul ball. Here's a one-two. Now this is in the air down the line. And it drops foul into the corner. Got him looking for the K. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. And next for Atlanta, Vaughn Grissom. Smash to the left side. Slings to first. And that is that. Nothing across here this half. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Braves one and the Mets nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Brandon Nimmo. The center fielder. Brandon Nimmo. The wind and the pitch. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And the 0-2. 
This one lifted in the air, left field. And there's one down. Batting fifth, the second baseman. Jeff McNeil stands in. Not here. Yeah, that's a little bit high. Ball one, no strike. Lined into right. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. Batting six. The third baseman, Eduardo. Eduardo Escobar, Escobar. El Caballo up to hit. Ball one, no strikes. Counts one and oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Here comes a pitch. Hey. That clips the corner. I mean, that's perfect location ball, right ball on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're ball, so three. tough to do anything with as a hitter. Three balls, one strike. The 3 1. And it's ball, ball four. four. He missed down low. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Tommy yeah. Fan in the box now. No balls and a strike. And the 01. Yep. Yeah, that's a little Ball high. One. Escobar, one one. the runner at first with two gone. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. The belt and fires off the oh, outside off the edge, and now the count is two and two. Foul ball, another two two upcoming. The pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Two outs. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Mets strand one. They trail here. One nothing. Back here at City Field. New inning getting started. And now the DH, Kevin Pilar. Pilar. Pilar measures six feet even, 34-year-old vet, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. And first offering is fouled off. You know, Boo, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. Marte makes the ground. One away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. And that one pulled foul. Let's go now, man. 
kicks and fires. Acuna punches one foul right side. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Oh, really expanded the zone right there with that fastball off the outside corner of the plate. Got him to chase it. That's a tough one to lay off of because it starts close to you and just continues to run away from you in that batter's box. So it's a really nice pitch with two strikes. Riley takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Next pitch inside, and the count is 2-0. Oh. That one catches the corner for a strike. And now it's even up. Ground ball, Alonzo. The flip to the pitcher covering, and that'll do it. So they make short work of them there. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Braves one and the Mets nothing. Bottom of the inning, and stepping in for New York, Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez in his rookie season in the eighth spot in today's lineup and he was born in Venezuela that one misses ball one some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela including one that finished with 500 plus home runs 3,000 plus hits and a triple crown Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. That clips the corner. Righty to the plate. That one is hammered right field. Back there. Hits the fence. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way, but that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. So up next for New York, Brett Beatty. Foul ball there. Let's go. Drive him in. Now the 0-1. Hey. And that one missing low. One ball, two strikes. Alvarez at second with nobody out. Next ball, pitch off the play. And the count is two and two. And another ball. Pete Alonso waits on deck. Got him! Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Here's Pete Alonso. He was a strikeout victim his first time.
Ball one, no strikes. One out and a runner at second. Line drive, base hit. Here comes Alvarez around third. Ozuna throws to second. He pulls into second. A run comes in on the play. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And now it's Frankie Lindor. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Ball to strike. And it goes just foul. Francisco Lindor, a guy who's won multiple gold gloves and a platinum glove, multiple all-star appearances. Mr. Smile, what do you think of when you contemplate the player Francisco Lindor? Just a special talent, both sides of the ball, both sides of the plate, equally a force. And one thing about Francisco Lindor, you talk about that smile, he's also got some good sense. If I'm a catcher, love it when he comes to the plate because he's got all kinds of different colognes that he wears and sometimes mixes them. Marte stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Tied up here in the early going. Next offering is in for a strike. Big opportunity, guys. Man at second. Oh, and now two balls and a strike. And he deals. In for a strike, and it's two and two. Got him swinging. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Matt Olson. Olson. Senga back to work. And yeah, that's outside. You know, these Braves just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And it's one and one. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. On the ground, McNeil fires over to first, and Olsen is set down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball the out of the line. air, lets the defense the work view. behind him with another ground Michael. ball. Good execution. Sure. Michael Harris, the next to hit, singled and drove in a run his first time through. Let's go, hey. On the corner for a strike. Let's go, Matt. 
the pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. And a couple Got of it. quick outs. Yeah. Up next for Atlanta, the catcher, Sean Murphy. Here's Sean Murphy. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Edge of the zone for a strike. That's strike one. And that one off the outside edge. Next That's offering right. misses and a count two and one. On, and that's down and away. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And the right hander deals 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because...